Yeah. And the crazy thing is, for me, this is every time I get up here, we do these events all through the year. Number? Very, I feel very, I should say a big thank you to the Vodafone Classic for having everyone here because it's, it's very rare that many people get to come down and experience something like this building. So, thanks to them for being with me. But when I won the British, the, the World Championship, I came back here the next couple of days and I stood up here with the whole team, covered the whole boulevard. And I remember standing here, it was the most incredible feeling. It was a good day, I can still remember it like it was only yesterday. But let's, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a while ago. Let's finally talk a little bit more about uh, this year. What's been your highlight of the year, but what's also been your, your lowest point of the year? I think this year, I think the highlights would have to be Montreal. Montreal was pretty wicked. I was happy. I think out of all the races, I was happiest with that, with that Grand Prix because it was just a kind of a faultless weekend for us. And Montreal is where I had my first Grand Prix win, so even better. Um, Spa was quite nice, although you know, I'm a perfectionist and I like to go through a race knowing that I didn't lose any time whatsoever. And okay, it was the most trickiest of conditions with sick tires and no rain. I did go off and touch that barrier. I was just so lucky that I was able to get back out the gravel and back onto the track and still keep the lead. So I wasn't the happiest with the, with the win, even though it was a win, so it was amazing. But then, I mean, there were several low points in the year. You know, when we had Mon Monza was a big downer, and then went straight to the next Grand Prix and had Singapore, which is another downer. And they were the two toughest races of the year. And to be able to bounce back from that and have the confidence to go to the next race and, and still give it your all and still take the same risks and everything was, it's not easy. And you know, and we, we lost some points in those races, but generally we still would have been behind because the, the Red Bull was just too quick this week, this year. And so I feel that, especially towards the end, I feel like it came through strong. We got a, a, a second and a third. I think that's still quite a good result. We got second in the Constructors' Championship, so you know, we beat the Ferraris, which is a good thing. We always, that's, always like the, that's always like the main aim to finish, finish ahead of those. We don't care where we Your old teammate did look very happy when he got out of the car. Yeah. 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 I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I think the, you know, the young kid, he did a great job, and as I said, Ripple did a great job. But we plan on, we're working on, there's so many things that, have, what, there's so many things that come together to make us world champions and world champion driver. And it has, it's in your personal life, it's in your fitness and your approach and the work that you do with your engineers and the, the work the team does and how the team 